When we created our base and grading string and our building pad grading string, we applied a template. Templates are great to enable us to show some kind of shape being applied onto the string for the purposes of a cross section. In the grading string form, we actually access the template editor via a small pencil icon, whereas we can actually do it via the ribbon. On the roads tab, you'll see that there is a Create Edit Section Templates button. We'll click on the picture for that particular button. If you accidentally click on the pull down, you can access the button there. This is where all of the templates are managed, not only for our project, but also globally throughout all our projects if we choose. The form is kind of broken down into really three distinct areas. We've got the grid editor, which is this area at the top where we can basically go in and refine and change values assigned to the dimensions of our template. Down the bottom, we've got a live preview, which means as we make changes, for example, I'm going to make changes here to the horizontal distance of the first section. As we type a number and press enter, you can see that the values will update. So that preview is live. On the bottom right hand side of the form, in association with this preview, we've actually got some display controls which you can choose to review. Basically, the display controls as they are are currently set up show a one to one vertical exaggeration. And at the moment, the template is being shown hypothetically in two of, of cut. So um, you can choose to show it in fill or cut, but not a great deal of context in that scenario. So it's up to you whether or not you go around and change the values. You can use your mouse uh, to scroll in and out. So as I scroll in and out of the preview window, I can zoom in and out. And if I hold down my mouse wheel, you can see there what we can pan to, uh, to get ourselves maybe zoomed into a particular location of our template. Now, the template itself is, is currently broken down into three distinct areas. The first part is codes. As you'll see that for each different change of direction on the template, we have a code. These are extremely important. We're going to be creating these when we create a template from scratch. But these basically will enable us later on to have control over the cross section of the template and make changes to it. For example, maybe we want to take the um, top of curb and reposition it to match onto a surface or match onto an alignment. The second part is the section. So a section is the area between two codes. So this would be a section in here. Within a section, we can apply subgrade. So we can actually apply materials within here for the purposes of, say, volumes. Now you'll notice that we've got all of these codes on here, but the code that's missing, which is clearly visible within the preview window, is the LBAT and RBAT code. These are not controlled via the grid. These are controlled separately, purely because of the fact that with a batter we can have a slope, but we've got no known distance. OK, so these are controlled outside of the grid. Let's just have a quick look at what's going on on the right hand side of the form. When we used the uh, template for the grading strings, we did review for the building pad uh, a list of available templates, and that was found under the select template button. You'll see that within the list, we have templates that are prefixed with the word local. And then within the list, we have some that are prefixed with the word public. Any templates that are prefixed with the word local are being stored in your data folder, meaning that they will be available within this project only. Any that are prefixed with the word public are being stored in your common folder. This means that every time we open up a project, this same list of public templates will always be available. This is really helpful because this means that we can share templates between different projects very quickly and easily because this bottom list is always being read on every single project. Click on cancel. We'll come to the adding entries, deleting entries uh, when we come to create our template and look at managing that. Click on template options. In template options, we've got a number of different tools which help us mirror the template, copy the left to the right and delete the right side of the template. So you don't have to have a template that goes all the way across the center line from left to right. You can have half a template that exists only on one side. Very importantly, we've got two clear options when it comes to creating a new template. We can either create the template in the local library, i.e. that's just in our data folder, or we can create a new template which will go to our common folder or global library, meaning that it will be available on every project we open. If we choose to create a template in the local library and use it within the project, then decide at some point it would be a very good template to use for maybe new projects going forward or an existing project we'd already started, we can copy the template to the global library. So this is much like doing a save as. 
So some really good useful tools there uh, to get you working and sharing your templates. Further down the list, we've got some options to delete the current template and also we've got rename the current template. So if you do find yourself wanting to rename, you can do that. The one that we're going to focus on very quickly is edit materials list. So if you select edit materials list and click OK, you'll get the option to change what is basically a text file containing a list of available materials we can assign to the sections within the cross section of the template. So we can either edit the materials list for the data folder meaning that it will be specific to this project or we can edit the global materials list. Now I'm just going to say L for local which is already preset and click OK. In the list this is just text so if you do find yourself with materials that um, you're, you're not used to using or you'd like to change them feel free to go in and change these as you wish. Down the bottom we can add a couple more entries so we're just going to add some just some very uh, sort of typical materials that we can apply at some point within this project click on apply and exit. Now we're going to cover how to create a template from scratch within the form.